Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to stream with a slow internet speed using one of my new found favorite apps, Prism Live Studio. And I really urge you guys to watch this video until the end because I really think this will go a long way into helping you stream better. Now before this video starts, I do have to mention that this video is sponsored by Prism Live Studio. But this doesn't mean that I'm not going to be giving you my honest opinion about it. I've been trying out this app, Prism Live Studio, and let me tell you, it is one of the best apps ever and i'm not saying that just because i'm sponsored i really enjoyed using this app and dude it's as you'll find out later on in this video it is really really simple to use i mean i was shocked on how simple it is and how simple it is to use anyone can use it it's not intimidating like other apps i love it i just i just love it if you are a new streamer and looking for the best way to join the wave prism live studio is the way to go because as i said before this app is really really easy to use anyways enough of me rambling about this app the first thing that you need to do is obviously go ahead and download this app prism live studio and install it all you need to do is obviously head to this website prism live studio prismlive.com i'll be leaving a link in the description down below obviously to make your life easier all you need to do is click it and go ahead and download it and one thing that i did not mention you can actually get this on mobile okay so if you do not have a pc no problem just install it on your phone and you can live stream using your phone and it's really simple to use if you want me to make a video on how to stream using your phone using prism live studio i'll be really happy to do it just leave a comment down below but for now let's get on with the tutorial okay all you need to do is go ahead and press pc over here and select whatever version is compatible with your pc if you have a if you have a 64 bit download this if you have a 32 bit windows download this if you have a microwave go ahead and press this button right here and now that you have the app installed all you need to do is sit back relax and let me show you how you can stream with prism live studio using using a slow upload speed all right obviously the first thing that you're going to need to do is open up prism live studio and if you're opening it for the first time you might you might face like a login page all you need to do is go ahead and log in using either your google accounts or email or the or facebook there's a lot of options that you can use to log in as I said, this app is really simple to use. Prism Live Studio is most likely going to be looking like this the first time you open it. Do not panic. All you need to do is go ahead and add a scene by pressing this button right here. Chances are you're already going to have a scene created. You can go ahead and name it. I'm going to name I'm going to name this Monitor as you can see. And then all you need to do is go ahead and add a source. Go ahead and go I'm going to be choosing display capture. You can choose anything like a video capture device, say Olgato an audio capture device say a microphone a game capture you can you can game capture using this program with, without using any external video, video capture cards there is display capture window capture screenshots you can add media files image files web like say a subscribe account for example you can add a text on this but for now i'm going to be choosing the display capture and then i'm going to be capturing my entire display i'm going to be choosing my first monitor which is this one and i'm going to be capturing my mouse pointer okay after that i pressed ok and as you can see this your monitor should show up or any source that you selected should show up and let me tell you about this little feature that this app has which is absolutely amazing you can choose like filters live while streaming so if you like streaming your face and want a filter on you can do that you can you can even choose like black and white for dramatic effects like for funny effects while streaming you can do that you can choose any like filter live and it's built in you don't need any plugins or anything it's free it's absolutely amazing one thing that i actually enjoyed as well about this app you can have for like facial effects on your face live like you can edit your face over here live while streaming you can go like a cute or sharp like presets um you can like you can you can edit your face live while streaming and it'll be edited you can stream live and, and you can actually add a text live on stream enough with the effects all you need to do now after adding a like a monitor source like a video source you need to probably add your microphone which is this audio capture device press it once select your microphone mine is the samsung qtu i love this microphone it sounds amazing select it and press ok you can actually enable noise reduction which is absolutely awesome if you have like a noisy background and you don't want it on your stream you can actually reduce the noise 
of the background and so so basically this program will only focus on your voice i already have pretty good noise cancellation on my microphone so i'm not going to be using it but if you have like a cheaper microphone this will go a long way into helping you improve the stream quality anyways press ok as you can see my this this audio thing should like start moving while i'm speaking anyways this is how to add scenes and sources in this program as you can see it is really really simple to do now let me show you the best settings to use for streaming. All you need to do to open up the settings is it's really simple. Go ahead to this drop down menu right here, press it once. Over here you can find pretty basic settings but come on, you know this channel is not about basic settings. Go ahead and press that advanced bet, the advanced settings button, press it once and this window should show up. I know it says advanced settings but it stays really simple, I love it. Anyways, go ahead and select custom settings. Go to the go to the resolution and go ahead and choose your favorite resolution. If you have a slow internet speed, most likely you're gonna be you're gonna need to stick with 720p. For the frame rate, select 30 FPS, and for the video quality, go ahead and select none. As for the encoder settings, if you have this Nvidia setting, go ahead and select it. If you don't, go ahead and select X264, which is basically gonna be using your CPU to encode the video. If you have the Nvidia one, it's gonna use your graphics cards to encode the video. Now for the rate control which is one of the most important settings for streaming I think. A lot of people are going to be telling you to stick with CBR but go ahead and uh, go ahead and stick with variable bitrate. Keep the bitrate at 1000 and then go ahead and select the maximum bitrate to 3000. What variable bitrate is going to be doing is basically it's going to be jumping between 1000 and 3000 bitrate depending on your internet speed at the time which is going to basically give your stream less lag now for the keyframe interval keep that one at one second for the preset keep that at high quality and as for the profile keep it at high tune you cannot really change it so don't one thing that i forgot to mention at the beginning of this video you're going to need an upload speed of at least one megabits per second because this program only allows for 1000 megabits per second as a minimal bitrate which is not really something that I'm a fan about but I can understand where they come from because the if you're going to be streaming 720p with a bitrate below 1 megabits, 1 megabits per second the quality is not going to be that good and these are all the settings that are going to be needing to tune as I told you is this program is really really simple to use there's no complicated settings that you're going to be needing all you need to do now is go ahead to go to the channel settings and connect basically your YouTube or Twitch or whatever. As you can see, there is a lot of different platforms that you could be you can, that you could be choosing. And one thing that I did not tell you guys that this program allows you to multi-stream, dude. You can actually multi-stream to different platforms at the same time using the same program. This is a built-in feature which is absolutely amazing. And while streaming, you can actually record your stream to your PC so then you can upload it as a video or whatever you want. I really think this feature is really awesome. Also you can just record anything that you want using this app. I really love this as well. And one more feature that I really really liked about this program is that you can show the, sh you can show the chat over here without opening like a Google Chrome tab that will basically eat away your RAM. Anyways guys this wrap it up today's video. This is how to stream with Prism Live Studio with a slow internet speed. It's really really simple. I definitely recommend this program to you if you're like a new streamer or looking for a new application to use for streaming. There's a lot of programs that are really complicated with these complicated settings. This program is simple and it's user friendly. That's what I like about it. I think that there is room for improvement with this app. They could, they should probably add like other resolutions other than 720p i think they should add 480p or anything like that and they should probably allow for a bitrate below 1 megabits per second basically below 1000 kilobits per second but other than that i really like this applications i approve of it go ahead and download this app for yourself and play with it yourself and trust me you will not regret it it's got multi-stream and you can record your stream which is which is really an amazing feature i think you can multi-stream with this. What applications gives you the ability to multi-stream? I don't think any application does that. Yeah, but anyways, enough of me rambling about this app. Guys, thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers. It's absolutely a dream come true. Anyways, guys, go ahead and leave a like right in today's video so this video reaches as many people as possible and possibly help them. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I'm on my way to 2,500 subscribers and all help is appreciated. And with that being said, check out Prism Live Studio and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.